Welcome everybody, my name is Tommy T 9 and this is further PS4 multiplayer footage of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Yes, the beta is just around the corner on the 19th of August 2015, but this hopefully will give you some more insight of the map Hunted. This is Domination, uh, we've just taken A and we're heading our way around to C. Just hanging on here, just in case any of the enemy is coming from C through A. This like, little area is a nice cave, you can go down there in the waterfall and head down to B. But there's no one coming, so we're going to crack on with trying to capture C. So, as I say, this is PS4 footage. This is the last bit of footage that I gathered at E3. Uh, but I'm so looking forward to the beta, which is so close. Uh, I'm working with the Weevil, which is what I'd probably say was my favoured gun uh, of the few games that I did manage to play of Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops 3. Uh, it's got five attachments. You can put six on it if you wanted, but I've got this with the reflex sight, the extended clip, the grip, the long barrel, and FMJ. Perks-wise, I'm running Blind Eye Scavenger and Sixth Sense, and I have the Nomad Specialist of Hive, which basically launches a Nano Swarm, which hopefully I'll get later on in this video. So after getting taken out there, I've switched it up to the XR2 Burst Weapon, which again was probably my second favourite gun, but on this map, definitely aided my accuracy. And um, when you're trying to take the points, it's great for just basically lying there, going prone or crouching down and giving yourself a much better opportunity rather than running and gunning with the weevil. So there's been loads of news for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 over the last few days. You've got the Collector's Edition uh, announced, which was obviously the Juggernaut, which is this amazing fridge, plus loads of other content including the Season Pass. At Comic-Con, Treyarch and Activision officially revealed the star-studded cast for Call of Duty Black Ops 3's Zombies Mode. This includes Jeff Goldblum, Heather Graham, Neil McDonough, Ron Perlman, which I can't wait to see more of, and Robert Picardo. So the cast start in the Shadows of Evil map within the Zombies Mode. Uh, Heather Graham is the Femme Fatale, Jeff Goldblum is the Magician, Neil McDonough is the Cop, Ron Perlman is the Boxer, and Robert Picardo plays the Shadow Man, who is the mastermind behind this whole experience. Also within Zombies is the giant bonus map, which is included within the purchase of the Hardened, the Digital Deluxe or the Juggernaut edition of the game. This basically returns you to the undead glory of a Nazi research facility featuring the weapon upgrading Pack-A-Punch machine. It's basically reliving a chaos of Treyarch's classic Der Risa Zombies map, picking up the Zombies story with Dempsey, Nikolai, Richtofen and Takio where Origins left off. As mentioned at the start, the beta launches on PS4 on the 19th of August. Everybody cannot wait for that date to come around. But there's also been some other news revealed on this where someone has basically got hold of a PlayStation Plus card that states that the exclusive is running for five days. So that does mean, even though they've not officially announced anything for PC and Xbox One, you could see it as early as the 23rd, 24th of August. Which, for those of you with Xbox One or PC, means you're not going to have too long to wait, and you're not going to be too far behind those PS4 players. And sticking with the latest news, but just changing slightly to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, a PC player, I love these guys, have hacked the game and managed to find out that there's going to be new weapons coming to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. There's the STG-44 Assault Rifle, the Blunderbuss Shotgun, and the SVO Sniper Rifle which again, from the images that have been leaked, also show that there is a royalty version of these guns, but also legendary. So coming back to my video, I absolutely loved getting my hands on Black Ops 3 at E3 2015. You can see I've just called in a care package, but you can also now kind of understand how long they're taking to come in. You can see the ship flying in now to drop it in. Also just switching up to get my hive in. This I earned, you get five of these bullets and these nano swarms, we just basically stick somewhere. As soon as an enemy runs through, they are literally going to get taken out by a swarm. Gotta say, the games I did play, the feel of the game was brilliant. Uh, true classic Call of Duty. Definitely back to how Black Ops 2 was when we, you were used to playing that. I've got to say, I've been playing a lot of Advanced Warfare and I did try and constantly do double jumps, bursting here, there and everywhere, but I just know that I've got to get used to not being able to do that anymore. All in all, Black Ops 3, I believe, is going to be one of the best Call of Duties ever. I think it's definitely going to change the way that the esports for the game work. I think it's going to be very, very fast-paced. Uh, I think that the championships are obviously going to get an, an interesting turn now with it moving to PlayStation. So this will be the first time that PlayStation 4 will have the World Championships. So all these pro players have got to go out there and learn. Maybe not learn again, but they've got to get used to a new controller. 
So that is definitely going to have an interesting twist on how things look for especially the likes of Optic and maybe even some of the UK teams like Epsilon. So this pretty much concludes the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 footage. There's me getting taken out. What a great way to finish. Uh, we won that game, but yeah, I got taken out of the final kill count. I wanted to go out in style. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like it and subscribe to the channel. Check out a couple of my previous videos on screen now, and I'll be back very soon in my next video.